My colleagues and I have conducted altogether six expeditions to the Puy protected forest. One of the fun things of doing field work is that you always go, get to go to new places, you get to explore new areas. My name is Rudolf von May. I am a postdoctoral researcher in the Rogowski lab at the Museum of Zoology and Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. In our surveys, altogether, we found 23 species. From all of these species, we have found eight new species. Seven are the frogs and one is a lizard all of them new to science. And this year we have described five of those. The very first one was described in January by my colleagues Edgar Lehrer and Ginny Moravitz. And that one is called Pristimantis ashanica, then Pristimantis atemboroi, Pristimantis bonides, Pristimantis humbolti, and Pristimantis puipui. We see the animals in the field. We, we see their behavior, we see different colors. We feed, you know, we get to understand a little bit more about what they are doing. The way we search for the animals, we work both during the day and at night. During the day, the main search that we do is wearing leather gloves and we search through different places like mosses, under rocks. We go to search through bunch grasses and a lot of these frogs hide in the, at the base of those bunch grasses. In some cases, there were no trails, so we had to open our new trails. And in that case, we used a machete and we were just always recording GPS coordinates to know exactly where we were. One of the fun things of being in the field is looking at this uh, really beautiful landscape. And we were lucky to walk to these areas because uh, the landscape varies so much from the cloud forest to the high Andes. And just by finding new species in a new place, we're highlighting the importance of the area because the area is unique. It houses a unique set of species found nowhere else. We provide this information to the park managers or National Park Service in Peru who will use that information to, to come up with plans for the protection of the area. 